The HVS 2000 implements two types of bus linking. We have button mapping and we have transition linking. The button mapping takes two forms. I can have synchronous mapping, so ME1 controls ME2. I can have button mapping where button 1 controls ME light 3, button 2 is button 2, button 3 is button 2. So if I have a camera shot that would create an on-screen recursion, I can map the system so that I don't take that shot. In addition, I can link my keyers together. So if I wanted to do a key one on ME1 that was different than key one on ME2, those can also be linked. In addition to the button mapping, we have transition linking. So in this case with ME1, ME2, if I transition ME1, ME2 transitions along with it. So now on a multi-language program or a dual stream program, you could have keys that are assigned to ME1 and separate keys to ME2. The HVS 2000 has both GPI and GPO connectors, both on the rear of the control panel and on the back of the frame. It supports 12 GPI inputs and 24 GPI outputs that can be configured for control or for tally. In addition to the GPIO, we have extensive external interfaces. We have 12 auxiliary units that can be assigned as uh, shot boxes and can be programmed for cross-point control, event memories, or macros. We have editor interface in both the Sony DBS and the GRASS 100 protocols. We have four channels of VTR control that are connected to RS-422 ports in the back of the frame, and these run the uh, standard Sony protocol. We have four channels of VDCP control that can either be set as RS-422 or assigned to a LAN address. These can be used to control various servers. I have router interface that connects to the 4A MFR series routers. It's able to pass router naming directly to the control panel or to control the router cross points directly. The HVS 2000 has a 4K option that allows you to input either 2SI or SQD signals. The 2000 in 4K mode has a maximum of 12 inputs. It has one ME plus one key and one ME light plus one flexi key. The ME and ME light together can be used as a switcher offering 4K to ME functions. The flexi key can be assigned to the ME to permit a two-key compositing with both keys able to support full-size 4K compositing. It comes standard with a 2D DVE. It can be utilized as picture-in-picture -picture when 2K size resources are used. The rack-mounted HVS 392 ROU panel can be used as the main control panel to build a compact 4K system utilizing the 4U main unit and rack size control panel. The four multiviewer lines remain HD outputs, but when 4K inputs are displayed, the split pattern is fixed as a quad split. These outputs can be implemented separately by four multiviewer lines, allowing for a single 4K 16 split screen to be obtained by inputting four lines to a 4K monitor as QFHD outputs. The frame syncs for all inputs can be used directly to receive synchronous 4K content. The input still function also allows still images to be utilized as 4K material, of which content is still limited. 
The clip function supports only one line in 4K instead of four in the HD system and is also available for approximately 3.5 seconds, which is long enough for a CG wipe content. However, with only one HD bus available for video capture, 4K data cannot be captured all at once.